All right, so to um, simplify this expression, um, we want to leave it with positive exponents. So we'll leave it as a fraction and positive exponents. We want to start by making the denominator, this whole expression, um, into one um, into one group. So we're going to make this x term have a denominator of 2, so we can combine it with the 1 half. So what you would do is just multiply this by 2 over 2. So what you get is then on top, you'll get an x. You'll solve your x over 2x over 2 minus 1 half. Now that um, it's over 2, you can combine it with this 1 half. So this is, this is going to be the same as x over 2x minus 1 over 2. And so now we just divide um, the numerator by the denominator by using, you know, our, you know, common, common rule when we're dividing fractions. So x over 1 divided by 2x minus 1 over 2. So this is going to be the same as, like, x over 1 times 2 over 2x minus 1. So then it's not really going to get any cleaner. It'll just be like 2x over 2x minus 1. That's basically as, as you know, as, as simplified as you can go. Right here, we got um, 1, at 1 over x plus 4 over 1 over x minus 2. So with this 4, we're going to need to make it over an x. So we're going to multiply by an x over an x. So we'll have a 4x over x there. And this, we're going to also multiply it by an x over x. See, now that you now that they both have x denominators, at the top, we can make it as one fraction, as 1 plus 4x all over x. And then the, the denominator will just be 1 minus 2x all over x. Now we can divide this entire fraction by multiplying the reciprocal. So we'll have 1 plus 4x over x times x over 1 minus 2x. So let's remember the rule a over b divided by c over d. This is going to be equal to ab times dc. Now I don't like cramming stuff in there, but there you go. In case you, little, in case you need a little refresher. Now these x's will cancel and nothing else will cancel. Don't don't try to cancel an x from this and that or simplify two. That's just please don't do that. That's one of my greatest fears with students that they'll try to go crazy with the simplifying. Just live it as clean as you can get. That's just how math is sometimes. Right here we got a we're going to make this x over an x as well. So we're going to multiply it by an x over an x. So we're actually going to get an x squared over an x minus a 1 over an x. This we're also going to multiply by an x over x. So we're, again, we're going to have an x squared over x plus a 1 over x. Now we can combine the numerators on top here. So here we'll have x squared minus 1 all over x on top. In the denominator, you'll have x squared plus 1 over x. And now you can divide by multiplying by the reciprocal. So we'll have, this will be, actually, let me break it down like that. x squared minus 1 over an x times an x over an x squared plus 1. Now these x's will actually cancel. And nothing else really cancels. You'll just end up with an x squared minus 1 over an x squared plus 1. Again, don't try to go crazy and cancel out these x squares and whatnot. That's just as far as you can go. All right, number four. Okay, so we got, okay, so here we have two different denominators. So this we're gonna to need to multiply by y over a y. 
and this one you're going to need to multiply by an x over an x. That way, both denominators are x, y. And so then you'll have a 3y over an x, y minus a 4x over an x, y. So we can make it into just one fraction right away. So that'll be on top. Now, same thing here. We want to make the denominator x, y. So we're going to multiply this by y over y and this by x over x. Then you'll have, you know, again, you'll have everything over x, y, 4y minus the 3x. Now we can divide by multiplying by the reciprocal. So we'll have 3y minus 4x over an xy times an xy over a 4y minus 3x. These xy groups cancel, and that's really it. We'll be left with 3y minus 4x over 4y minus 3, or I mean 4y minus that ain't right, 4y minus 3x. Whoops. I have moving along. Okay, so here we're going to make this into 3x over 3x. So we want the denominator to be 3x. So we'll have 3x over 3x minus a 2 over 3x. Now this, we're going to need to multiply x by 9x over 9x. So you have 9x squared over 9x minus a 4 over 9x. Now we can combine the, the top into one fraction. We'll have 3x minus 2 all over 3x. This will be all over 9x squared minus 4 over 9x. Now we can go ahead and, and multiply by the reciprocal. So, on, so here we'll have 3x minus 2 over 3x multiplied by a 9x over 9x squared minus four. Now here we can break this down a little bit further. We can cancel out these x's here. Nine over three is just the same as like three over one. That reduces. So, and this can actually factor into three x minus two times the three x plus two. So let me move that three into the front just to make it look cleaner. So on top we'll have three times the three x minus two all over Factoring this, you'll get 3x minus 2 times the 3x plus 2. And then these two groups will actually cancel. And all you'd be left with is a 3 over 3x plus 2. All right, and number 6, we got x to the negative third minus 3 over x to the negative 2 minus 1. So let's make this positive. So let's make this into like a one over x cubed minus an x all over a one over x squared minus a one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to make this into, um, an, we're gonna need to multiply this by x cubed over x cubed. So then we're gonna get one minus x to the fourth, this is that times x cubed, x to the fourth, all over x cubed on top. And this one, we're gonna make it x squared over x squared. So then here we'll get one minus an x squared all over an x squared. Now we can go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll get one minus an x to the fourth over an x cubed 
multiplied by an x squared over one minus x squared. Now x squared over x cubed, this basically just becomes a one over x. That doesn't look nice. One over x. And this can actually be factored into um, a one minus x squared times a one plus x squared. So you have that all over an x times a one minus x squared. And these one minus x squared groups will cancel. And so then all you're left with is a one plus x squared all over an x. And you're good.